Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Hello, hello, welcome in my creative carnivore kitchen. I'm Aline, aka Carnivore Girl. So, let's get started today. Something easy, simple, fast, well, not that fast, but yeah. I'm just gonna make a roast, something super simple, and I'm gonna make it the way I like it best. Nothing special, well, a little tweak. We are still the next level cooking show, right? So, uh, I think this is good. Here I defrosted the roast, I of round. I'm just placing it in here. And uh, yeah, of course I preheated the oven to 350. It is still preheating. I hope it's done soon. If not, I don't really care. That was a door that just shut by itself because I have a ghost here. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I actually, I use the Ninja Foodie a lot, but roast, I prefer in the oven. I'm adding a bit of water, just a tiny bit, and uh, salt, of course, you know me. Lots of salt. So, everywhere. Not too much, we can always add more. And... That's it. Now, well, it's not it, it, but for that part, I close it. The oven is not preheated yet. I don't care. I'll put it in the oven. Ugh, hopefully without my hair. Maybe I should put it one. Okay, let's change it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I want to put the wrap one down. So, so that it is in the middle, kind of. I don't know. Oh, well. so. And now, how long? That so depends on you. I like my meat rare, raw. So I do usually. 20 to 25 minutes. Yes, not more. So I do 20 minutes. And um, the meat will be in the middle still raw probably or very, very rare. But I can always put it back. Like the, I eat today a little bit. I put it in the fridge tomorrow. I could put it in the oven again if hmm, today I want it done more or I slice uh, some slices and put those in a pan or whatever I'll show you later and we're not done after those 20 minutes of course we're not done okay I'm here outside as you can see and our roast really looks ugh, no color not pretty at all so of course, you're gonna give it some color. Safety first, I put my hair up. So, gonna torch. 
this is that next level this time. click here and that then I can push this so it stays. See? See how pretty it is now. And this is really my favorite way how to make a roast. And also, oh, that's so warm. Uh, here, the juice, the we say braten sauce, the remains. Um, of course, I, I uh, swipe it up with some of the roast, pour it over the roast, or I use it uh, for egg meal, never throw anything away. It's really delicious. Um, yeah, this I put some uh, water on over it, so there's also water. Well, yeah, there's also water from the, from the roast, from meat. Meat also has a lot of water in it. And the, when uh, you saw when I torched it, like the parts that are very lean, they weren't that fun to put torch, but then the parts with the fat, whew, much more high of flames, so much fun. Okay. So, let's get, this is the nicer side. So let's start with the less nice now. I want to start with the nice side. Let's see if I did it the way I like it. I'm almost scared that it's overdone, but hey, it's only 20 minutes. It's nothing. Holy shit, did I really overdo that? Not possible. No, no. Oh, it's starting. Ah, bullshit. No. It's starting, it's starting. Uh, you know what? Really can't believe it. Well, you know, usually you should wait 10 minutes before you start cutting it, but I like my meat warm, so I never wait. But it is starting, maybe while I talk, 
because usually I have a bloodbath here, like really, like totally blood. Of course, when I do it for the camera, it won't work. It doesn't want to. So, uh, yeah, but it's actually good because I think uh, I have a recipe in mind I want to do tomorrow or in two days with it. Of course, I'll be recording it. So uh, for that, it's really good, the roast. But for me, I should have left it in much less long. Let's take a picture first, of course. I already took a picture from the whole roast, but I really wanted a bloodbath. Yeah, and this is also eye of round. This is really lean roast usually. Well, you know, on the outside has some fat, but really sometimes now it's kind of... Okay, let's see if I can... Ah, can you see this? Ah, I really have to... Ooh. Okay, let's try. I can't really see if you can see. I don't know. Ah, look, you see? It is all juicy. Here is some, some bloody stuff. A little bit of a blood bath. Hmm. Oh well. So usually I have here a lot of juice. What I like, I like a good blood bath. Mm, that's too... so. Oh well, but it's uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, it's actually, it's very rare here. You can see it. Sometimes it's still raw inside. This is, oh, no, really curious, it's funny. Well, more and more juice is, is running out now. Actually, I thought, yeah, you should wait before you cut the steak or a roast or whatever to keep the juices in. And I never do that, so then I cut it and whoa, much of juices come out. What I love, because it's like a blood bath and the meat is still not dry. So, um, fix my hair again, but so, Oh, also here, of course, the um, pan I used for torching all those juices. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm hmm. And also, the uh, stuff in here. So I can show you blech, like that stuff here. So good. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's actually the perch that got cooked. Mmm. Perch is the meat juice, the raw meat juice. So really, really good. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because, as I already mentioned. I'm going to make uh, another video where I need some of that roast, but ooh. Mm. I also, as I mentioned before, now I can cut the slice, can put it in a frying pan, in a ninja foodie, torch it. So, ooh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Usually I have this full. Well, it's a, very rare here, but I love it this way. Actually, it's really good. I mean, it could be even a little bit less, but um, okay, here is one of this part. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good. Okay, I talk too much. You know me. See you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. 
See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy. The next level cooking show.